Now, can we see in here? Oh, it was recording. Our new space. If you're on, uh, put my camera away. There, it's, it's blinking. Good. It's time, Scott. <laughs> it's time to find the truth about the bow house. <laughs> I've been sitting okay. here for a while. Huh? Yeah, I just <laughs> wanted to. Uh, uh, bring him up to speed first, yes. since we have enough time, even though you're late. <laughs> uh, I knew this from before. We did this dry run already. I was here, and uh, but up. I didn't bring out the equipment, because this time I was sure you were coming. Yeah, we're here now. Uh, and did and you if record you're anything thirsty, yet? This is coffee, this is cold water, and oh. there's more cold water. No, oh, but it really is cold. Yeah, right out of the refrigerator. If you'd come to the house first, if you were on time, you would have got homemade fudge Lord. with the best chocolate you can buy in the whole world. Really? Riddled with walnuts and uh, ma marshmallows. Thank you. Wow. Delicious. <laughs> wow. We should forget you the city and go to your I could have right brought now. it, but they're so soft they would have melted in the sun. And it'd be a sticky mess. So I thought I'd just read this once. No, I'm okay for now. Uh, for How about so you Mac just, can get a picture of the whole thing. What about if, if we just ask you the question? Okay, and then when you get to the questions, maybe you, we could you could hand it over to you. This is the revised edition. Uh -huh. This is revision number four. I'm still not totally satisfied. I'd love to have a whole year to do this. Right. You right. Know? But anyway, the first is our grand aim is the ecstasy of creation. We understand art idealistically. And I thought maybe I would add there, we love art. We love the arts mm -hmm. because it's for all the arts, the Bauhaus. Anyway, I might do that. And this I'm going to read because I have I'm over and over and over again, and I'm not sure I've got it by heart, but we can, you can test me, you know, before we start rolling. Do we have enough time to shoot it several times? You could yeah, I think practice so, that yeah. way, too. Uh, yeah, that's right. It would bring it... I think the worst thing is when somebody asks you the question and you don't have the answer, so somebody else gives you the first word, and, and then you say it, but you can't do that on camera. So I was thinking just do a complete run through, reading everything. I'm not not the directions, mm -hmm. but all the the seven statements and then the eleven questions. All seven right. eleven. Okay. Uh, so uh, yeah, we're wasting time if I just go through it for Max. He'll figure it out as we go along. Yeah. Let's walk up to that corner and you follow me with the camera, and I will read these over my shoulder. And when we get here, following the script, let's let's read the whole script first. Yeah, let's first. read the whole script. Yeah. Okay, yeah. let's start from the beginning. No whole script for it. Camera follows the back of I. Artman's head while he spits out a few pleasantries. Lots of cuts, lots of profundities. I say lots of cuts, I have to explain that. That's what I first thought, was turn the camera off between each one. Yeah. But then there's going to be an editing nightmare. So we we'll just try it. Since I can, nobody can see that I'm reading, when right. I turn my head back, I can stop, read the next one, and then say that, and then we go. We could also again. record you reading right now, and then record that over the image yeah, of if, you walking. Yeah, if we have to. I've got a new one, this whole thing recorded already in the computer. That's right. The so if one. we need some okay. uh, voiceover. So maybe we don't need to read one. Lip sync while you're walking because yeah. then that means you have to sort of hide this paper and you can't walk naturally. Yeah. I'd say let's just shoot it of you walking then without you reading. Maybe, you know, okay, Max, let's get Max through. could let's read Let's read the whole thing first. Max yeah. Okay, let's just read he needs a general picture. Yeah. Our grand aim is the ecstasy of creation. We understand art idealistically. We love the arts. Put ideas back into art and art will become a nutritious substance. We are on the cusp of an enormous change of values. Our point of view is no longer materialistic. A real need for sharing what is necessary to go from violence to love is apparent to everyone. The collective conscience is awakening. The people are trying to help make the world a better place. 
then back still turned, gesticulating at the blank wall as if looking at the Sistine ceiling. Mussorgsky paintings at an exhibition playing in the background. I'll dub that in. If you will be so kind as to ask me any wild or idle questions that comes to mind, it will help me get out the plan for the Bauhaus. And in the actual video, insert the slideshow, sketches and photos, the sketches of the plan for these buildings, anything like that, mm -hmm. photos of them and maybe some art. Finally, sitting on the little stool, hat off, jacket off, shirt sleeves rolled up, hair down, answer, you're gonna, you guys are gonna love this because I brought my brush. Huh. And I have this thing where I push all my hair forward with the brush and then yeah. throw it back and it looks like a lion's mane. Excellent. And Excellent. so then when we start the question and answer with me sitting here, that's what it will be, it'll look nice. like. Just for fun. Um, finally, okay, we did that. What is the idea of the Bauhaus? A place for artists to work and learn and eat and talk. It doesn't cost an arm and a leg. What else? Because if we work together and share, we have the strength of numbers. Even in chaos, there will be ideas. Arguments yield new knowledge. Who will come? People who want to be artists, not with the label of artists, just people who are not afraid to live. People who are not afraid to die. Hmm. Isn't the National Endowment for the Arts interested in helping? Isn't it time we change the way this country works? The National Endowments for the Arts is a dead body. The post-mortem report is died of boredom and an overdose of nepotism. You know what nepotism is. Yeah. What's your point? <laughs> People these days are way too much in their heads. Better they should bury their hands in clay and lose their heads in color. Uh-oh. <laughs> why, do, why do art at all? Creating causes happiness and good health. But best of all, art gives a reason for being. A step in the direction of self-knowledge. Hi. Hello. Just amateurs working through a little video together. We're, we're not... Uh... <laughs> this is the world we live in, man. It's a police state. Why don't they want anybody filming here? Well, you need a permit. Permits keep uh, injury and lawsuits away. I guess. Excuse me. If yes. you gentlemen do want to film, the property manager's office is over there in the corner. You can get permission from you. Thank you. Oh, well, that's a big well. help. Yeah. It's over there where it says Bill Simon Real Estate. Uh huh. Okay. He's in that office over there. Thank you, sir. Thanks very much, sir. Bill, Bill Simon Real Estate. I write that name. Yeah. They got eyes, don't they? They sure do. These empty eyes. lots. You were down so beneath the car in the shade. Yeah. Maybe somebody drove by Who's and got a complained. It's like somebody's making a movie out here. Maybe. Possibly. Imagine that an artist who comes out without a pencil. I've got everything else. I've got my I passport even. I had a pen earlier, but and I put checkbook. it away. I have never been anywhere without. It. I'm sure I had a pen. In here, there's a loop. Yeah. Can you write with the burning of the sun? <coughs> I can remember Bill Simon. Bill Simon. Bill Simon Real Estate. Real Estate. This is extremely rude of me, but that man broke my line of constitution. <laughs> That's all right. He's mm -hmm. We don't have time to go over there and get a, a permit. No. For this afternoon? No, however, no. possibly for the future. Yeah. We could go around the corner and uh, shoot. It's a, it'll be the same thing. The minute we start, that guy will show up again. He, he, All right, well. so this is the beauty of film, though, and editing. Why don't we get you walking on any old street right near your house or something, or near the foundation? And then we cut to here after we've worked out these little shenanigans. We, we actually shot some footage, didn't we, last time, you and I? Well, yeah, we did uh, with my little yeah. phone camera, but it didn't come out. What do you mean it didn't come out? I don't know out? why it didn't come out. It just didn't come out. None of it? It didn't work. The stuff on the car? Yeah. 
Oh, it didn't work. I don't know why. Well, let me finish this anyway, just right. so that I don't feel like a point just interrupt us. <laughs> uh, because if we work together and share, we have the strength of numbers. Even in chaos, there will be ideas. Arguments yield new knowledge. Who will come? People want to be artists, not with the label of artists, just people. People who are not afraid to live. People who are not afraid to die. Isn't the National Endowment of the Arts interested in helping? Isn't it time that we change the way this country works? The National Endowment for the Arts is a dead body. The post-mortem report is died of boredom and an overdose of nepotism. What's your point? People these days are way too much in their heads. Better they should bury their hands in clay and lose their heads in color. Why do art at all? Creating causes happiness and good health. But best of all, art gives a reason for being, a step in the direction of self-knowledge. Art can be a life-enhancing experience. So this could be a sort of a forum, sort of philosophical? Not exactly. You could call it experimental psychology. Nobody knows anymore what art is good for. They think it nice, but don't know how it helps one love life. In that sense, philosophy, literally, love of knowledge, is what might be the result. It's an experiment before anything else is crystallized. That is why we need to get together often over double espressos or a glass of hearty burgundy. What else is good about the Bauhaus? It's good for artists to starve once in a while, but not day after day. A place like the Bauhaus will always have a salad going in cheese, maybe a couple of crock pots with soup and chili. Chili's ready at home right now. People are different. How can you accommodate all these types? Some people are good at questions, and some are good with answers. At the Bauhaus, we will fight it out. We will demonstrate with work what our reasoning is. Principles before personalities. You seem to be saying that art is good for you. <laughs> I love that line. Art prevents cancer, just as wheat grass finds and eradicates free radicals. Art organizes them by putting them to work distracts them from their habitual vandalism. And the mind, too busy with these artificial problems, is flooded with positive energy. Good energy is bad soil for cancer cells. They wither and die. Art is good for you. What is the plan about workspaces? By providing studios for artists, I took itinerant out, not necessary, just corners even to work in, just a place to work where food is not too far away or time consuming. There is nothing more distracting when you're trying to work than your stomach growling. You know, there's a caveat there. You know, sometimes it's better that you just don't eat. You know, but anyway. Uh, and trying to create the feeling that it would be like a community, you know, that everyone is welcome. Mm -hmm. right. Those who know and those who don't know. Right. Even the ones who just park here and come out. Yeah, them too. Like passers-by. The Bauhaus could go on forever because it won't depend on any one person. It's a cooperative. If artists can't cooperate and share the responsibilities, it will shrivel like grapes die on the vine when no one harvests the crop. A priori, art is the purest activity. The joy of creation, like love, transcends time. Now that we have so many people without jobs in the world, I can envision a leisure society, not rich, but active in the arts. Somebody will have to pay them. Gladiators of art, aviator, aviators of the spoken word, masters of stone and wood, magicians of form and color.